series born today on Monday, we watched miracles. Couples across the country welcoming new babies live. But for many others, getting pregnant can be a financial, physical, and emotional challenge. Today, we are focusing on in vitro fertilization, or IVF. NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, is live from an operating room at St. Luke's Hospital in St. Louis. Nancy, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. I'm here with Dr. Sherman Silber, who's sitting right here to the right of me, and patient in front. And what we're looking at on the screen are ovaries with follicles with eggs in them, and they're being harvested this morning. You know, 40 years ago, there wasn't much of an option for an infertile couple in order to get uh, go ahead and have a baby. But boy, has technology changed. So this morning, for the first time on live television, you're not only going to see eggs being retrieved from an ovary, but we're going to show you the fertilization process. But first, I'd like to introduce you to a couple who very graciously allowed us to be part of their experience. Dr. Sherman Silber is a renowned fertility expert and a pioneer in something commonly known as IVF. It's short for in vitro fertilization, which simply means fertilization takes place in a laboratory dish. The pregnancy will implant there. 33-year-old Jessica Menkhausen and her fiancé Derek Mannion are Silver's patients, excited about the possibility of having a baby together. That's where our babies are going to be. Jessica had tried for nine years to have a baby and had almost given up on her dream of motherhood. It took years to get over it. I was really glad when we met Dr. Silver. He did give us so much hope. Oh, hi, Jessica. Jessica has been undergoing IVF pretreatment for four weeks now, injecting hormones and getting regular blood work. All right. Hopefully these children know one day when we show them this how much we wanted them. Get thicker, get and today, thicker. news that the medicine has worked. Jessica's ovaries have produced a large number of follicles, which house the eggs that will be fertilized with Derek's sperm. If we count them, that count gives us an indication of how many eggs you're going to have and it's just a huge count. The couple have put off wedding plans until next year, citing the cost of IVF, which averages 12 to 17,000 per cycle, and it's often not covered by insurance. We are borrowing to do this. And they're telling their personal story here, hoping to inspire others. It's amazing to think what science can do now and how it can help us out in conceiving. It's an all-or-nothing gamble for Jessica and Derek, who are spending their savings on what, for them, is a once-in-a-lifetime chance at parenthood. We're terrified of spending this amount of money and then it not working. If it doesn't, we'll be sharing that heartbreak together, but it will be heartbreaking. They say they can't afford to do it again, but remain hopeful about the outcome. I want to be positive, and I think that we're going to have twins. And I think that they're going to have red hair and blue eyes, and <laughs> that's what we have to keep thinking. <laughs> Right now, Dr. Silber is inserting a micro needle with a little suction into the ovary. And each of these black sacs you see really houses an egg. Those are being sucked out and then they will be examined behind us. Can you feel that when you go in there and you're looking at that egg, you know visually exactly where you are? No, visually exactly where I am. And I also can feel it in answer to your questions. Uh, like there is a follicle right there, we're right. going to go right through. And that, that white line is the needle. That white the line is the needle. And that opening, that little sack you see, has uh -huh. an egg in it. And they're really nice and big size, so we know we're going to have good, mature eggs in there. You're already finding yeah. a lot of eggs. Is that because she's been on stimulating hormones? Well, she's been on stimulating hormones, but some women on stimulating hormones do not have that many eggs. It depends. She started out with a lot of eggs. Here, let's go for this So this one. bodes well for her, to have such oh, big yeah. follicles and have so many? Yeah. You see, we're excited. She has very few small follicles, and those are the follicles that cause patients to get sick from IVF. And the way we stimulated her, uh, we have only big follicles. And uh, these big follicles are going to be mature. They'll and, have. And this is a yeah. safe procedure with these medications for Jessica, right? It really is safe if done right. If not done right, it could be dangerous. But you know, I have to underscore, and that's exactly why you go to a center where the IVF is not only established, but doctors have been doing it for years and years and years. So that one, you harvest healthy eggs. Two, it results in healthy babies. And three, the health repercussions long term for mom 
minuscule. Nancy, so that's it for Savannah. Savannah, we'll be back to you shortly. Hey, Matt. Can we just ask you real quickly? She is sedated, but it, will there you be bet. discomfort from this procedure, you know, in the, in the coming hours or days? She is sedated, and there will not be discomfort. Um, there is a vaginal probe in, in her, which allows us to see the ovary, but it's no more uh, different than a pelvic procedure. So, no, she's going to have minimal discomfort, and they'll watch for a little bleeding afterwards, but they expect no complications. This has been going absolutely perfectly this morning. Wow. Okay. I hope that continues. Uh, Dr. Really Nancy really Snyderman, yeah. thank you so much. We know that in our next half hour, she's going to be there. We'll watch the procedure live on television. This is the first time when Jessica's eggs are fertilized. We hope Amazing. we are rooting for them. Yeah, I was going to say, after you hear their story, how can you not root yeah. for them? Oh, absolutely. They're successful in so many other couples around the country as well. But first, more of our series Born Today. In the last half hour, Dr. Sherman Silver conducted the first part of an IVF procedure retrieving Jessica's eggs in the operating room. And now, hold on to your French fries. We're going to turn to Dr. Nancy Snyderman. She's actually moved into the lab where we're hoping to catch a conception process live. Jessica and Derek are in the recovery room. They're ready to watch. Dr. Nancy, good morning. Phyllis us and what's going on? Hey, you guys, let me orient you because this is one of the coolest things you're ever going to see. This is just a pipette that's holding an egg in place. This is an egg that was taken from Jessica just a few moments ago. This little thing on top is called a polar body, and I'm only telling you that because the egg has to be oriented in space. And what you're going to see Kathy do right now with a needle on this side, which has a sperm in it, is puncture the outer layer of this egg. You're gonna see how tough it is. That little sperm is right there. Pop into it. The sperm will be released. And as soon as she knows, the end of the needle's there, boom, there went the sperm. The sperm is right there. This is now a fertilized egg. Conception has taken place. And this now will be put into a special medium for the next 48 hours as a fertilized egg and observed. Wow. You have now, for the first time ever on television, seen a sperm go into an egg, and that's modern IVF. That is cool stuff. Well, now, now, Nancy, Nancy, and we're going to keep doing more. Now, I know, Matt, you're going to really love this part as Kathy goes ahead. These are sperm that are swimming around in this special solution. <laughs> what she does is she literally... Not sure where you're going with this, Nancy. Here's the fun stuff. Matt really loves she to see She the tail off the sperm. Now, now Did wait you hear a me, second. Matt? Yeah, no, it's amazing. But now, now you have a fertilized <laughs> egg... And, and then you yes. will, they will implant those fertilized eggs in Jessica. How long will we know or will it take to know if this is a viable pregnancy? Well, so we got a lot of eggs out of her today. So again, there's the sperm in the needle. Pop in, the sperm goes back up. Boom, it's in another fertilized egg. 48 hours, this will be watched. These will now start to grow under the microscope. And then Dr. Silber, because he's a very ethical doctor, only implants two. Mm -hmm. You've heard of the controversies mm -hmm. before where mm -hmm. there are too many fertilized eggs put into women. The uterus is not a condominium. You put in two, hoping for one or two healthy babies in pregnancies, right? Yes, and we, can, pregnancies. and we can freeze the extras safely. And she can hold on to them for a long, long, long time. And in some cases, even be given to other women. Absolutely. And they will never be hurt by our freezing process. Nope. So this is safe for mom, cool for dad, great for science. Well, Nancy, you really have a way with words. The uterus is not a condominium. <laughs> I will uh, remember that Correct. forever. <laughs> This is pretty neat. So we're just going to stand here and, again, watch this go on and on and on and keep fertilizing these. A lot of sperm, very healthy, and with these eggs being able to be held here by suction, the uh, 26, 27, 28 eggs were harvested. Wow. Wow. And they'll That's all be amazing. fertilized and then stored. And then the best ones will be implanted in Jessica. And we will follow up with Derek and Jessica over the next couple of days and months. And I have no reason to not expect that this is going to result in a healthy oh, pregnancy. I'm sure this is going to work. And uh, I have to tell you, Dr. Talk earlier, we we're also saying she has a really good looking uterus. So I think this is going to be a go. <laughs> 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 27 babies. Oh, so 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 27 babies. Human eggs aren't that good. That's so exciting. The first live IVF It's all looking good at St. Luke's in St. Louis. Okay. Right. Well done, doctor. To the folks well out there done. For letting us do that. Guys, is that the first IVF procedure you've watched with French fries? Yes, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, just acknowledge the it's weirdness like of that. The show. <laughs> <laughs> Bizarre. Anyway, we'll keep track of Derek and Jessica. Find out what happened.
Last month during our Born Today series, you may remember we introduced you to Jessica Menkhausen and her fiance, Derek Mannion. They let us go on their journey with them as they underwent IVF live on our air. Well, NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, is here to give us an update on how they're doing. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Savannah. Our cameras were there when Jessica underwent in vitro fertilization, in this case, something called ICSI. Since then, we have been following this pair, and this morning, we have chosen to take it one step further, and they're going to share the results with us. I want to be positive and I think that we're going to have twins and I think that they're going to have red hair and blue eyes. And <laughs> After struggling with fertility issues for nearly a decade, 33-year-old Jessica Menkhausen and her fiancé Derek Mannion are excited about the possibility of starting a family. Hopefully these children know one day how much we wanted them. So that's really the moment of conception. <laughs> wow. That, 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 that moment, a first on live television, fertilization right via IVF. This is now a fertilized egg. Dr. Sherman Silber, a fertility expert, performed the procedure. I want to have enough frozen embryos that we can be guaranteed that she's going to get pregnant. Back at the hospital three days later, the anxious couple learned how many of Jessica's fertilized eggs had grown into viable embryos. So this one is not so equal size. That is gorgeous. That is an eight cell embryo. That is a baby right there. Dr. Silver chooses two good embryos for transfer into Jessica's uterus and then shares the news. Okay, so we did really, really well. This is for your baby album. These are the two embryos. So it's right there. Jessica remains awake and watches with Derek as Dr. Silber gently places the embryos. And uh, those are your babies. It'll take 10 days to find out if Jessica is pregnant. I think I'm just going to keep our positive thoughts. This is the big unknown period of what's happening inside her uterus. I recommend that they try to relax. Worrying is not going to change what's going to happen. Ten days later, the results are in. Well, guess what? Your pregnancy test is positive. You're pregnant. It's amazing. <laughs> you got a baby in there. <laughs> Jessica and Derek are with us this morning along yeah. with Nancy. Okay, Jessica and Derek, you're making us cry. <laughs> How did you feel when you got that phone call? You know, I just, I just had the feeling wash over me again, just so ecstatic, so overwhelmed with joy. We feel so blessed to have met Dr. Silber and, and so blessed to have the results that we, we, we have. Thank God for that. <laughs> and you guys, I know, sure this is Nancy talking, I know that you don't know yet whether it's one or two, but take us into what Dr. Silber has said is going to happen to you over the next couple of weeks. So in the next few weeks, we'll do an ultrasound, and by that time, we'll be able to hear the baby or baby's heartbeats and hopefully see um, one, or two, um, one or two fetuses <laughs> in, in the womb. So we're, we're really excited about that. We're really looking forward to that. <laughs> Jessica, this is so intimate. There we were right at the moment of this IVF. Why did you guys feel it was important to share this story? You know, I feel like there are a lot of other women out there um, with the same problems or possibly the same issues as we have or couples as, as, as we have. Um, so I hope that in telling our story, it'll inspire other couples to take that next step and to find out what their options are. Um, also, it has helped us you know, not carrying around the secret, but sharing it with everyone and, and getting the support and, and prayers of all of our coworkers and family and friends. It's, it's really been a blessing to us. Well, Jessica and Derek, we are rooting for you and the new baby or babies. Thank you for sharing this journey. And we'll journey. be following you, you know, the whole way, so don't give it of us yet. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Nancy, as I turn to you, she had two embryos implanted. Right. That's not always what doctors do. No, so she had 17 fertilized. They transferred two of them, ones that looked really good. And the great thing about the science is you can really see which ones have taken and which give her the best chance for success. Yes. Wow. And But we're going to be with her the whole way. So and, we can uh, offer our prayers. She'll have the prayers of the country yeah. with her. And remember, she still has quite a few healthy um, fertilized eggs sitting there. So she has okay. multiples to go back to.
cancer. Well, it's an interesting story. Thank you for helping us tell it this Good morning. Good science. Y yeah, Nancy, thank you. you bet. Back in September, we brought you our Born Today series that included a live IVF procedure. And Dr. Nancy Snyderman has been keeping up with the couple. Dr. Nancy, good morning. Hey, Natalie. This was an amazing young couple who allowed us into their lives. We first met Jessica and Derek in St. Louis when they started their fertility treatments, and we've been following their journey toward parenthood. So after so many years of trying for a baby without success, this morning we have an exciting update. I want to be positive, and I think that we're going to have twins. And I think that they're going to have red hair and blue eyes. And <laughs> After being challenged with fertility issues for almost a decade, 33-year-old Jessica Menkhausen and her fiancé Derek are a heartbeat away from starting their family. So that's really the moment of conception. <laughs> wow. That moment captured on live TV for the very first time in vitro fertilization. This is now a fertilized egg. Dr. Sherman Silber, a fertility expert at St. Luke's Hospital in St. Louis, performed the procedure and days later transferred two embryos into Jessica's uterus. Ten days later, they got the results. Well, guess what? Your pregnancy test is positive. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> we got a baby in there. <laughs> Maybe do. The couple shared their excitement live on our air. So ecstatic, so overwhelmed with joy. We feel so blessed. But the journey had just begun. Seven weeks into the pregnancy, what would the first sonogram reveal? Hopefully we get to hear the heartbeat or heartbeats. Today we're going to be looking for one or two fetal sacs to tell her if she's got twins or not. And we're looking for a fetal heartbeat of 130 to 140 then we know this is a healthy pregnancy. After a brief meeting with their doctor to go over expectations, finally, the moment had come. So that's the heart right there. <laughs> and as I scan through that, I'm only seeing one, one sack with a really good heartbeat. Beautiful heartbeat, a good uh, fetal length. It just looks perfect. I, I can't say that I'm disappointed because I'm happy that mm -hmm. there's ones. It kind of looks like a little baby. <laughs> one picture, one heartbeat, and for this couple, a priceless moment. It's been such a long journey to get to this point, and I'm just so excited. I'm so glad that we're pregnant. <laughs> can't stop looking at it. <laughs> They're a wonderful couple. As for Derek and Jessica, that strong heartbeat means, of course, they're well on their way. She has had morning sickness. We all know what that's like. Most of us know what that's like. Yeah. And for those of us who know, this kind of exhaustion is just the good sign that good things healthy are healthy coming. <laughs> yeah. We're thrilled for Derek and, yeah. Derek and Jessica. What are the realities, though, of successful IVF these days, first time around like that? Honestly, it really means going to the right center because we always think that infertility has to do with women. A lot of times mm -hmm. it's men and it's age-related. So you want to go to... Ask a center that does it well. And remember, it's not just getting pregnant. It's a live, healthy baby. All right, Dr. Nancy Sonderman, thanks so thanks, much.